talked about it, but today we're going to be talking about it just a little bit further. Casey Anthony, the verdict of not guilty to uh, murder and two other uh, uh, accounts that is associated to the death of her daughter, uh, Kaylee Anthony, and attorney Manny Ebay here on the show. We'll be discussing that as we simplify the laws for you here on Simply Legal. Hindi kailangan nakakalito ang batas. Liwanagin natin sa Simply Legal. Brought to you by Attorney Karina Castaneda and Attorney Manny Ibay. It's been a while. Welcome back to Cabo in LA. Thanks for having me on such an exciting day, at least to talk about legal issues. Exactly. The Casey Anthony uh, verdict. Okay, your thoughts. Well, Was it something you expected? You know, I didn't follow it as crazily as some people did. However, I did hear a lot of things on the news and tried to listen in on it. But I think that the way that people are responding is they're responding to what people are saying on TV and they don't really know what happened exactly in that courtroom or what the jurors were thinking. You know, the jurors are t in totally different situation than us. I mean, they're sequestered. They don't hear any news. A lot of them didn't even know about the case before they became jurors. That's why they had to go outside of Tampa mm -hmm. to get the jury. They went outside the city to get the jurors for this particular uh, case. Okay, as a trial lawyer, uh, you're, you, you have expertise. You can lend us your expertise today. Some people are saying this was a failure on the part of prosecution. They, they, were, they could have chosen better members of jury. Uh, is that? Uh... Well, that could be part of it, but I think that now that you're, I'm reading a lot of the things afterwards, most people are saying that she seemed so guilty because she lied about a lot of things and they caught her lying, right. but they, put, they didn't really have much evidence linking her to the actual murder. Mm -hmm. You know, there was no DNA evidence on the daughter's body. There was nothing linking her to that scene. Right. I watch a lot of investigation discovery, and so I know about uh, circumstantial evidence and all that. But for people who are not aware, what is what is it? What is the, what does it mean? Circumstantial evidence. What is that? And is that something that's helpful to, to prosecution or to the uh, de defense? Well, you can use either direct evidence or circumstantial evidence. Direct evidence would be something where. There was a video of her strangling her daughter and burying her. What about a witness that also? Would, Is that direct evidence? That's direct evidence uh -huh. also. Okay. But that would be the most direct that okay. people could look and say, oh, yeah, she's guilty. Right. But here, what they're trying to do is they're trying to use circumstantial evidence. Mm -hmm. Circumstantial are things that are not so obvious. Right. Let's say what they did is they were they found that there was some chloroform right. smell. So uh -huh. what they did is they said, okay, they looked at her computer and they saw in her computer that she did a lot of searches on Google right. for chloroform. Right. So that's kind of circumstantial. So linking it, yes. just trying to get the connection. But uh, it, in all, uh, Attorney Manny, eBay, uh, what can we learn from this? I mean, well, your clients are watching. Some people may be in need of a trial lo uh, lawyer as yourself. What can we learn? Well, I think as far as you know, our legal system is concerned, I mean, the way that this case went is that it really was, they, they really need to find guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. And here, there was some, I mean, if you listen to all the evidence afterwards, there was some doubt. I mean, you, even though she seemed like a terrible person, mom, mom and did all those bad things, mm -hmm. you didn't see anything that directly linked her to the, to the scene. Right. And the way that our system is designed is they would rather have guilty people walking free than innocent people in jail. So, I mean, people, sometimes it slips through the cracks. Right, right. And uh, we'll end on that note again. That is why we need a lawyer, able and qualified lawyers, such as uh, Attorney Manny Ebay, to fight for our rights and, and defend us if we need to be defended. That's the number to call on the screen if you want to get more information, if you want to schedule your appointment now. Thank you so much and well, more thanks power. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about and meet U.S. Pinoy's for good governance. When we return, don't go away. Thank you.